young man walked up to me last week and said, Simo, what does it take to be successful? I'm like, bro, what do you mean? He's like, I want to know the key to success. What is it? I said, dog, I'm not even there yet. He's like, hey, but I see you progressing. You're making moves. You, you're doing what you got to do. So while I got you right here, I want to know what do you think is the key to success? Sorry. You really want to be successful, nigga? Meet me at my crib tomorrow morning. So he came about the crib the next day. I had two gallons of water, both in one gallon jugs. He's like, what this for? I said, the key to success is at the bottom of this second jug of water. But to get to it, you got to drink through the first one and then drink through the second Alright, cool. So he drank through the first one, killed it. But about halfway through the second jug, he starts to stop and slow down. I said, what's up? He said, man, I gotta take a piss real quick, then I'm gonna finish. I said, no, 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 no. You're gonna have to keep going, bruh. He's like, what you talking about? I gotta use the bathroom. I said, keep going. I gotta take a piss. Keep going. I'm gonna finna piss on myself. Nigga, the key to success is half a jug away. You wanna stop to go take a piss? Nigga, you don't wanna, man, you ain't trying to be successful, real. And I called him a little bitch and I sent him on his way. No breaks. You have no time to take a piss. No time to take a shit. No bathroom breaks if you wanna be successful. You wanna know who else takes bathroom breaks, nigga? Broke niggas. Broke niggas take bathroom breaks. I seen a hobo taking a shit downtown the other day. Now, take, using a bathroom is not linked to success. Nigga, wear a diaper, nigga. You had it right when you was a baby. Think about it. You was playing with your toys, you was watching cartoons. You had to take a shit, you took a pause for a second, you kept going. Nigga, I was on the set with Terrence Howard the other day, man. And you know what this nigga said to me? Nigga, get in your spot. What the hell I got to do with taking a shit? Nothing. But the nigga is successful, and that nigga look like he ain't shit in weeks. And to be successful, bro, you have to give up showers, dog. And baths, all that. You know why? Because the average shower lasts 12 fucking minutes. That's 12 minutes of your life wasted that you could have done something to be successful at whatever you're trying to do. You don't need you don't need showers, nigga. Nigga, nigga you know who else takes showers, nigga? Broke niggas. Broke niggas take showers, nigga. I heard a story of a broke nigga taking a shower this morning. I guarantee you that shit true. And you know what? That lets me know that taking a shower is not linked to success, nigga. Cavemen ain't take showers, nigga. And they invented the wheel and controlled fire. Nigga, young jock takes showers, nigga, and this nigga career is still in the trap, nigga. Nigga, get you a rag, spit on that motherfucker, wipe under your balls, wipe under your underarm, nigga, and keep it moving, nigga. But no, y'all niggas trying to be clean, y'all niggas trying to be fresh, y'all niggas trying to buy the next clothes and, 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 and all the new gear, which, which gives me to my next point. What the hell you buying clothes for, bro? What the hell you even changing clothes for, bro? The most successful people in the world are known for that one outfit, nigga. Nigga, buy you one shirt, one pant, buy you one pair of socks, one pair of shoes and you go be successful, nigga. You ain't got time to be buying clothes. Nick, Nick, nigga, you know, nigga, you know who else buy clothes, nigga? You know who else changes their clothes, nigga? Broke niggas! Broke niggas change their clothes, nigga. Y'all niggas trying to be fresh with these bitches. Y'all trying to impress these hoes. Which, which, which gets me to my next point. You want to be successful, bro? This some real shit right here. You got to give up pussy, nigga. I swear to God, you have to give up pussy. And I know niggas don't want to hear that, but until you get where you want to be, fuck that shit, nigga. Nigga, you know who else get a lot of pussy, nigga? Broke niggas. Broke niggas get a lot of pussy. Nigga, you know why? Because getting pussy take time. Getting pussy take money. Getting pussy take conversation. Getting pussy take fake compliments. Getting pussy take dates, gas money, date rate drugs. Shit that you ain't got time to be wasting on because you trying to be successful right now. <laughs> Ladies, you too. Dick don't get you nowhere. Don't let America think that you can fuck your way to the top. Look at Kim Kardashian. What did Dick really honestly get her? A low budget ass movie, a beautiful baby with a weird ass fucking name, and a weirder ass nigga hanging on her arm all damn day. Nah, nigga, y'all need to get that up. If you want, and if you want to get your nut off that damn bad, you got to use your hands, my nigga. Think about it. Your hand don't need conversation. Your hand don't need foreplay, nigga. Your hand don't need shit. Your hand don't bitch and complain when you nothing. Thirty seconds. Your hand is just there for you because your hand and you realize that y'all trying to be successful, nigga. If you want to be successful, jack off, nigga. But y'all niggas ain't trying to jack off, man. Y'all trying to fuck these hoes, y'all. Having sex don't do nothing but lead to unplanned babies, which gets me to my last point, nigga. To be successful, nigga, y'all gonna have to stop being such great parents, nigga. Y'all can be cool parents, be okay, but stop being such great parents. You know who else are great parents, nigga? Broke niggas. Broke niggas are great parents, nigga. Spending all your damn money and time on these damn kids. Let me tell you something, nigga. Go pick your son up. Take a selfie with that nigga. Drive past the zoo. Put an iPod in his hand, download a couple educational games, and leave his ass on, man. Kids are smart as hell nowadays, and technology's a motherfucker. Some of the greatest, most successful niggas on earth are horrible parents. Think about it, man. 50 Cent 
my son is hanging around, hanging out with a whole nigga that can't even read, bruh. Can't even read. I bet you that nigga can go buy Al 3 in Walmart. Will Smith had a whole nother son before the other nigga that's acting there. Y'all niggas probably didn't even know that. But he wasn't worried about that nigga. He was worried about being the Fresh Prince. Nigga, Michael Jackson told the bitch in a song, Bitch, that baby ain't mine. Not right now. Not while I'm moonwalking to success. Holla at me about that shit later. But y'all niggas don't want to be successful, man. Y'all niggas don't want to be successful, bro. I mean, if you, if you want to be successful, man, you got to want it, man. You got to be willing to do what you need to do. Period. Celebrate!